Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. My name is Mark DiPietro, and I will serve as your narrator today. This May commencement at Siena Heights University is about to begin. Before we begin, though, I want you to know that we recognize that we ran out of programs, and so I have just a couple of notes. One is that every graduate will have one on their seat, and the other is that if you still would like another program, just please, after Monday, contact the Office of Undergraduate Academics. <clears throat> Today's graduates join more than 28,000 Siena alumni who hold positions as doctors, lawyers, secondary and elementary school teachers, college and university professors and administrators, school administrators and counselors, therapists, nurses, accountants, social workers, and business women and men. The present student body numbers close to 1,800 students from 38 different states in the nation and 18 international countries. The university annually spends in excess of $16 million on scholarships and tuition aid to students, especially those who have demonstrated significant academic achievement, as well as to those whose family resources would not otherwise allow attendance in a high-quality private institution. The commencement convocation is a joining of hands with scholars of the past in observance of an ancient and respected ceremony. The pageantry and color of an academic convocation, such as today's commencement, come to us from medieval times, when academic robes and regalia were adapted from ecclesiastical garb. Most robes were black to symbolize the democracy of scholarship, since they cover any dress or rank of social standing worn beneath. Today, however, some gowns are different colors, recognizing the school from which one graduated. Bachelor's gowns are cut with long pointed sleeves. Master's gowns feature closed slit sleeves, and doctor's gowns are full cut with double belled sleeves and bars of velvet trim. The hood, originally a simple cowl attached to the gown, bears the heaviest symbolism of the academic costume, its lining displays the colors of the university that granted the degree. Blue and gold in the inner lining of the hood denotes a Siena Heights University degree. The bordering color indicates the field of learning in which the grad, uh, graduate was earned. The square cap or mortar board originated in the 13th century at the University of Paris and came to England in Tudor times. Earlier caps were round and reserved for doctoral degree holders. Today's procession is led by Jonathan Kleinow, Assistant Professor of Criminal Justice, Chair, the Faculty Assembly. Please remain seated for the procession. The first group to enter is the candidates for graduation. <laughs>
the next group to enter. The next, the next group to enter is members of the faculty and professional staff from areas such as academic services, enrollment services, and student services. The final group to enter is the President's Party, consisting of the student speakers from the Graduate College, College of Professional Studies, and the College of Arts and Sciences, President of the Alumni Board, Administrative Officers of the University, presenters in today's ceremonies, academic deans, members of the President's Cabinet, members of the University's Board of Trustees, and the president of Siena Heights University, Sister Peg Albert, OP, PhD.
Before we proceed with our program, we would like to introduce those in the President's party who will not be introduced later in the program. As your name is called, please acknowledge yourself. Members of the Board of Trustees are Harry Dusty Steele, Chair of the Board of Trustees, Ben Negron, Secretary of the Board of Trustees, Ruth LaFontaine, Trustee, Sister Mary Sower, Trustee, Margaret Hartman, Trustee, Lisa Oberlin, Trustee, Betty Cummings, Trustee, Chair of the Board's Academic Affairs Committee. Members of the President's Cabinet are Dr. Sherry Betts, Executive Vice President, Dr. Susan Shelangoski, Dean of Undergraduate Academics, Interim Vice President of Academic Affairs, Dr. Angela Dunn, Dean of Graduate Studies and Digital Education, Kate Hamilton, Interim Vice President for Institutional Advancement, George Wolfe, Vice President for Enrollment Management, Dr. J. Lee Johnson, Senior Vice President for Finance and Business Affairs, and Michael Orlando, Vice President, <laughs> Vice President of Student Affairs. Thank you also to Dan Kesterkey, Assistant Professor of Music, and members of the band. for sharing all of your expertise with us today. We ask now that we sing the Star Spangled Banner and for the invocation to be given by Sister Mary Jones, OP, MED, MPS, Director of Mission and Ministry. How wonderful to look out and see all your faces. Congratulations to the graduates, to your families and supporters who have helped you come to this joyous occasion in your life. For all these things, it is only right on such an exuberant time to ask for God's blessing. And so let us pray. Loving God, we thank you for the chance to celebrate this day for all the times you lifted up our students, giving them the courage and strength for that one last paper to study for one more test. For the many opportunities they've had to embrace and deepen their understanding of our Siena mission, to be more competent, purposeful, and ethical while respecting the dignity of all. We ask you to bless our students as they take our mission forward in whatever direction they are headed. Lord, we thank you for all the support from family, friends, faculty, and staff for the encouragement and, at times, tough love given to help our, get our students to the stage. Students, I offer a quote from the book of Jeremiah. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. The future is in front of you and is bright with all the gifts you are. To quote Catherine of Siena, if you are what you should be, you will set the world on fire. So gracious God, we ask you to bless all here 
as we honor the achievements of our students and as they enter into their future with your son by their side. We ask this in the name of Jesus, our brother. Amen. 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 Dr. Susan Schellengoski, Dean of Undergraduate Academics, Interim Vice President for Academic Affairs, will offer a welcome and officially open this commencement ceremony. It is a tradition at Siena to have students from our colleges share some thoughts with you. Representing the College of the Graduate Studies and the College of Professional Studies is Christopher Jodwin. Representing the College of Arts and Sciences is Julianne Lark. Good afternoon, members of the Board of Trustees. Sister Peg, distinguished faculty, staff, loving families, guests, and fellow saints. My name is Christopher Jodwin, and I'm a proud graduate of the Bachelor of Applied Science program in Public Safety Studies, and now the Master of Arts program in Healthcare Leadership. I am a son, a husband, a father, a brother, paramedic and firefighter, a master of disaster, and a healthcare leader. <laughs> A first-generation college graduate, beat by a single semester by my baby sister to the finish line. <laughs> a little late to the game, I suppose. I've come here today to celebrate the successful completion of a rigorous course of study. 
I would have been here with you three years ago. However, that COVID thing and a newborn kind of got in the way. It's amazing to be here today. I was not a school kind of guy. Barely passing high school, I instead focused on growing a small business and pursuing my dream of being a firefighter. Earning professional certifications allowed me to live that dream out. I never thought college was in my future. Life went on. Years later, I discovered that my true passion in the delivery of healthcare, emergency, and disaster management. The beginning of my professional career was amazing, but I soon noticed that everyone around me had one degree or even three, which is how I find my way to Siena. The study of liberal arts rooted in the Catholic Dominican tradition aligned with my personal mission. I saw a prime opportunity to grow and to challenge myself. I was content at my profession, but I needed a push. At Siena, I developed skills in analytical thinking, moving theory into practice and effective project management. I had a purpose in life, but I yearned for the skill set to turn that purpose into a passion. My drive and determination to be the best I could be needed kindling and guidance. The faculty of Siena Heights were there to fulfill this need as experts in their field with decades of hands-on experience. Especially meaningful in my path was the dean of the, the director of the graduate leadership program, Dr. John Fick, or simply as he's known by his students as John. My professors afforded me the opportunity to learn from those who have blazed the path. They provided visionary understanding of the challenges of navigating a professional environment, along with varying approaches to succeed as a leader. The online learning format offered an opportunity for me and my peers to harness our thoughts and perspectives, explore new ideas, and to be challenged with varying viewpoints, all the while living very busy personal lives. Along with the arrival of that little newborn, I was a hospital emergency and disaster manager during arguably the worst public health crisis of our lifetime, and at the same time a full-time grad student. I'm not sure how I made it, but here we are. Now is when I wish to profusely thank my wife for being my biggest supporter and my parents for raising me to be the man I am today. Life is and should be about challenges, like joining classes with those in different time zones, backgrounds, and approaches, mending various styles for project work with both a competitive spirit and a need for cohesiveness, though, took much effort. The challenge was met, and we've grown as a result. A better tomorrow because of the work of today. The better future will be ours because of the work that we took the first of many steps. We were lucky to have been set on this path together, saints. With these strong roots, we will no doubt go forward to change lives, our life, the lives of our families, the lives of those around us in the workplace and in our community, in the ambulance rushing to deliver a baby or in the boardroom enacting strong policy to protect livelihood and dreams. At its root, our foundation lies in being a good citizen with a strong moral compass, ethical approach, and dignity for all those that we serve. Congratulations to you all on your accomplishments today. Go forward knowing that your Siena roots run deep. Go Saints. Welcome Siena Heights faculty, staff, administrators, board of trustees, alumni, family, and friends. Special welcome to Sister Peg. It's a privilege to be a part of the final graduating class that you will be sending off from Siena Heights. Thank you for all that you have done for the university during your 17 years here. We are all grateful and honored to be with you today. But most importantly, I want to welcome and congratulate the graduating class of 2023. <laughs> For those of you who don't know me, my name is Julianne Lark. I am incredibly humbled and joyful to have this opportunity to share some remarks with you all today. But before I get into this, I want to extend the most loving thanks to my mom and dad, as well as my three beautiful older sisters who have taught me to lead a life of kindness, speak my mind, and love the Lord above all else. Now, I actually used to give fake graduation speeches when I was in elementary school, and goodness, I wish I had some of Julianne's words from back then, as I'm sure they are much more clever and witty than anything I can provide for you today. It's funny, 
When we're children, we don't worry so much about the right things to say or about impressing others. Life is much more simple, and the world seems much more brighter. But growing up is an interesting thing. The more I've gone throughout college, the more I've realized just how little I know and just how much there is left to learn. This prospect used to frighten and even irritate me, but I have recently begun to find comfort in the unknown. Our class knows better than most about living in the unknown. Obviously, we didn't have the most normal college experience thanks to the pandemic, but even throughout those strange and uncertain times, there were many things that we could depend on. We could always count on Michael Orlando's loud laugh and unrelenting optimism. We could always expect the Sienna curse to be in full effect. We could always be certain that shoe bad parking would catch that green truck's inability to park. And we could always count on the Wi-Fi to lose its connection. When I began my journey at Siena Heights, it was difficult for me to imagine any kind of certainty or sense of belonging that I could cling to. I was in a very hopeless place and feared all of life's new changes. I remember sitting in the stands during welcome week, dreading what was to come. I listened to the then student body president give a speech and told myself that I probably wouldn't amount to anything here. I thought that I would go through the motions during these four years, fly under the radar, and that would be it. But God has a funny way of working in our lives. There's something he uses time and time again, and I believe it is one of the most powerful forces he has gifted us. Friendship. In those dark times my freshman year, the people of Siena Heights began shining through the cracks, providing a glimmer of hope. My classmates, who are now my good, good friends, encouraged me to test the limits and push myself. Throughout college, they helped me find my voice. If you told freshman year me that I would be student body president and offer the commencement speech, I probably would have laughed in your face. But these are opportunities that I have been so humbled by, have found so much joy in, and have not taken lightly. I wouldn't be anywhere close to the person I am today if it weren't for the friendships that God has gifted me. Our entire lives are just culminations of the interactions we have with one another. People make us who we are. There's at least someone in each of our lives who has inspired, taught, and loved us. I hope that you will all find a way to express your gratitude to those who raised and supported us, as well as those who have taught us these past four years, growing us into purposeful individuals. Thank them and try to be that same inspiration for others. Siena Heights has provided us a foundation for the rest of our lives. Our professors and mentors have guided us throughout these challenging years and shown light onto our lives. But the knowledge we have acquired here goes beyond just what we did in class. Sometimes the lessons learned outside the classroom are more important than those learned within. So remember the fun late nights, cherish the deep conversations with friends, and cling to the relationships we have built. But our purpose comes from something much greater than ourselves. I believe it comes from love itself, from God. God is the direct source of happiness, peace, and joy and he is calling each of us to a life of action. I encourage you all to seek truth, beauty, and love wherever you go. If you lean into your relationship with God, or even with something beyond your own little world, you will find yourself in the midst of such beauty and grace. Like children, we must see the light in this world if we are to shine brightly unto others. God has brought each of us to this place and provided professors, mentors, family, and friends who have helped us along our individual journeys. They have lit a fire within us that must never go out. Four years ago, most of us gathered for Welcome Week. Now, we gather for commencement to end this chapter of our lives. But this is just the beginning. We will find ourselves in new spaces, facing new challenges. We must strive to be good and authentic people, spreading hope and knowledge wherever we trod. It is up to each of us to actively choose whether or not to embrace what has been learned and experienced. Our education is only worth something if we act on it. My hope is that each graduate before me today will continue to grow into purposeful individuals with good hearts and strong minds. We must always strive to be better than the day before and realize that even the smallest of actions can have the largest of impacts. Be guided by love to make each little corner of the world a bit brighter. I will leave you all with a quote from Mother Teresa. <laughs> Spread love everywhere you go. Let no one ever come to you without leaving happier. May we all go into the world and do just that, be sources of love and happiness.
Thank you, congratulations, and go Saints! <laughs>Thank you, Julianne and Christopher, for your thoughtful comments. Andrew Schweitzer, president of the Alumni Association, will now welcome the graduates into that group. Hello, Siena Heights University graduates. My name is Andy Schweitzer, a proud graduate of the class of 2013, and I currently serve as the president of the Siena Heights University Alumni Association. On behalf of our 25-member alumni board, many of whom are here today, our contributing members and St. Lee supporters, and the nearly 28,000 Siena Heights University alumni living around the world, we congratulate you on your graduation. What an incredible accomplishment. As Christopher and Julianne just said, you achieved this incredible accomplishment under truly difficult circumstances, and your journey to this day has been anything but normal. For much of the past three years now, circumstances beyond your control have changed the way a typical undergraduate experiences college, and these challenges were ever present. At times, it meant remote learning. On occasion, it meant canceled gatherings, but always it meant uncertainty. You didn't know if, when, or for how long you could share in special moments with special people. And I've heard Sister Peg say that Siena is a place that is always about people. And this uncertainty got in the way of your journey, and it got in the way of special moments with special people. And that is not any way to complete a degree, and yet you did. And the path to your degree took you through truly challenging and in many ways dark times. But wherever there is darkness, there are always heroes from whom we can draw inspiration. Catherine Benacasa, the saint from Siena, Italy, from whom our university owes its name, is one of those heroes. Born in the mid-14th century, Catherine traveled, wrote, and preached for a greater world, a world that was always within our ability to forge if only we had the vision to see past the uncertainty and the will to create something better. She said, simply and succinctly, from out of the darkness is born a light. And now, you're emerging as a Siena Heights University graduate. As has been said today, your journey is not ending with a degree, and it is only beginning. You have the duty now to go forth and be that very light that St. Catherine called for. That's your mission. And speaking of missions, you know Siena's, Adrian Dominican sisters, competent, purposeful, ethical, teaching and learning environment. But in reflecting on today, it's the last five words of our mission that perhaps mean more now today than ever before. Those last five words are a commitment and a pledge. Everyone here today shares that pledge. Everyone who was here before shares that pledge, and everyone that comes after you will always share that pledge. Those last five words, which you have in your head right now, respects the dignity of all. This is a pledge shared by a unique community, and it unites us all as saints. And today, I and the members of the Siena Heights University Alumni Association welcome you into that community. Congratulations to all of you. Thank you, Andy. Well, we are about to begin recognizing those graduating, and we know that this is an important event for all of you. However, we do ask that you do not leave your seats for the purpose of taking pictures, as this blocks the view of many of our guests. There is a professional photographer who will take pictures. We also ask all participants to return to their seats and wait for the ceremony to end before leaving the building. Greeting the candidates for the graduate, associate, and baccalaureate degrees will be Sister Peg Albert, OP, president of Siena Heights University, Dr. Susan Shalangoski, dean of undergraduate academics, Interim Vice President of Academic Affairs, Dr. Angela Dunn, Dean of Graduate Studies and Digital Education, Dr. Sherry Betts, Executive Vice President, Andrew Schweitzer, President of the Alumni Board, and the graduates will be hooded by the faculty. Assisting me reading the names of the graduates today is Michael Orlando, the Vice President of Student Affairs. Will the graduates please follow the directions of the marshals in order to come forward.
Christopher Hodon, Master of Arts. Mackenzie Elliott, Master of Arts. Will Alexander, Master of Arts. Patricia A. Davis, Master of Arts. Valerie Tiarina, Master of Arts. Amy Mills, Master of Arts. Courtney R. Price, Master of Arts. Rhonda Martin, Master of Arts. <laughs> Courtney Joe Faraday, Master of Arts. Mary Helen Collins, Master of Arts. Nelson Beltran, Master of Arts. Michael Barr, Master of Arts. Jamonica Thomas, Master of Arts. Rachel Brunger, Master of Arts. Lauren Skilton, Master of Arts. Juliana Blaine, Master of Arts. <laughs> Shaquan Deshai Love, Master of Arts. <laughs> Rebecca Vieira, Master of Arts. Tony King, Master of Arts. Emily P. Yench, Master of Arts. Amanda Cunningham, Master of Arts. Sunshine L. Morgan McIntyre, Senior, Master of Arts. <laughs> Heather Halkides, Master of Arts. Laura Lee Kane, Master of Science in Nursing 
and Master of Business Administration. Julie Howard, Master of Business Administration. Tad Brookett, Master of Business Administration. Ashley Elizabeth Nicosia, Master of Business Administration. <laughs> Joellen Sagrich, Master of Business Administration. <laughs> Kennedy Barland, Master of Business Administration. Laura Ashley Braid, Master of Business Administration. Heaven Brosis, Master of Business Administration. Kaylee Mayhaz, Master of Business Administration. Andrew Kozan, Master of Business Administration. Wesley P. Plyer, Master of Business Administration. Kieran Gotra, Master of Business Administration. McKenna Russell, Associate of Arts. Grant Lewis, Associate of Arts. Julianne Lark, Bachelor of Business and Administration, magna cum laude, and Bachelor of Arts, magna cum laude. Melissa Caitlin Bacho, Bachelor of Business Administration. Yeah. Lindsay Darby, Bachelor of Business Administration. Yeah. Sierra Rose Brown, Bachelor of Business Administration. Emily Kinney, Bachelor of Business Administration. Claudia Echeveste, Bachelor of Business Administration. Samantha Segovia, Bachelor of Business Administration. Megan Elizabeth Knapper, Bachelor of Business Administration, magna cum laude. Donna M. Jeffrey, Bachelor of Business Administration. Tyler Jeffrey Spry, Bachelor of Business Administration. Brandon Thomas Bauer, Bachelor of Business Administration, summa cum laude. Yima Darcel Davis, Bachelor of Business Administration.
Danielle Powell, Bachelor of Business Administration, cum laude. Berenice Waite Mosley, Bachelor of Business Administration, magna cum laude. Julia Anderson, Bachelor of Business Administration, magna cum laude. Sierra Hernandez, Bachelor of Business Administration. Tanisia Hoagland, Bachelor of Business Administration. Alec J. Herr, Bachelor of Business Administration. Colin Mong, Bachelor of Business Administration, cum laude. Ryan Moore, Bachelor of Business Administration. Rone Kim, Bachelor of Business Administration. Evan Mel, Bachelor of Business Administration, magna cum laude. Mackenzie Cook, Bachelor of Business Administration. Marissa Noland, Bachelor of Business Administration. Hunter J. Klein, Bachelor of Business Administration. Michael Winiarski, Bachelor of Business Administration, summa cum laude. Samantha Lynn Spicer, Bachelor of Business Administration. My pleasure. Thomas J. Lamnick, Bachelor of Business Administration, magna cum laude. Parker Mabe, Bachelor of Business Administration. My pleasure. Bradley Richard South, Bachelor of Business Administration, cum laude. Anthony Michael Scally, Bachelor of Business Administration, cum laude. You made it. Big family. My pleasure. Cameron Dean Hammer, Bachelor of Business Administration, cum laude. Jackson Ledyard, Bachelor of Business Administration. David Marsh, Bachelor of Business Administration. <laughs> Ali Jean Minor, Bachelor of Business Administration. <laughs> Rebecca Zilka, Bachelor of Business Administration, magna cum laude. Kayla Hinton, Bachelor of Business Administration, cum laude.
John C. Coons, Bachelor of Business Administration, summa cum laude. Curtis Felton, Bachelor of Business Administration, summa cum laude. Marvin L. Glenn, Bachelor of Business Administration, magna cum laude. Antonio Lamar Simley, Bachelor of Business Administration. <laughs> Caleb Jefferson, Bachelor of Business Administration. <laughs> Justin Wise, Bachelor of Business Administration. George Talley III, Bachelor of Business Administration. <laughs> Victoria Nurkowski, Bachelor of Business Administration, summa cum laude. Morgan Delora Turk, Bachelor of Business Administration, summa cum laude. Nicholas A. Turciano, Bachelor of Business Administration, cum laude. <laughs> David J. Robinson, Bachelor of Business Administration. <laughs> Justin McCown, Bachelor of Business Administration, summa cum laude. Rachel Hiker, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Sydney Dreyer, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Aaron Gotha, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Mackenzie Ashby, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. <laughs> Tyler Fugate, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Cum laude. <laughs> Christopher Vernon, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Caitlin Harwood, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, magna cum laude. <laughs> Hannah Moaning, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. <laughs> Caitlin Johnson, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Anna Grace Merrick, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, magna cum laude. <laughs> Ashley M. Heminger, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, summa cum laude. <laughs> Annabelle Springborn, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Kenaya E. Breeding, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, summa cum laude. Sarah Tartarian, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, magna cum laude. Yeah. 
Miranda J. Harris, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Larissa Hahn, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Shelby Jean Morrow, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Alyssa Elaine Marshall, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Chelsea Kovach, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Janelle Kruger, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, cum laude. Ashley Taylor Corrington, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Mackenzie Williams, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Adelie Warner, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Logan Richardson, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, cum laude. Adam Smith, Bachelor of Business Administration. Nicholas Robertson, Bachelor of Business Administration. Davis Michael Longyear, Bachelor of Business Administration, summa cum laude. Ariana Santos Fernandez, Bachelor of Business Administration. Jana M. Belin, Bachelor of Business Administration. Jennifer L. Howard, Bachelor of Business Administration, cum laude. Ansu Lebi, Bachelor of Business Administration. <laughs> Melissa Simpson, Bachelor of Business Administration. <laughs> Nicholas Daniel Hayes, Bachelor of Business Administration. Nicholas Mancani, Bachelor of Business Administration. David Turner, Bachelor of Business Administration. Franco Alves, Bachelor of Business Administration. Stephen W. Densmore, Bachelor of Applied Science. <laughs> Ashley Gregory, Bachelor of Business Administration. <laughs> Jose Cruz, Bachelor of Business Administration. Joshi Bu, Bachelor of Business Administration. <laughs> Kayla Jean Ray, Bachelor of Business Administration, magna cum laude.
<laughs> Casey Utterback, Bachelor of Business Administration, magna cum laude. Erica Quevedo Rivero, Bachelor of Business Administration. Michael Naw, Bachelor of Business Administration. Amber Smith, Bachelor of Applied Science. Elizabeth Egerer, Bachelor of Applied Science. <laughs> Catherine Stull, Bachelor of Applied Science. Yeah. Guillermo Martinez, Jr., Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Rachel Coleman, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. <laughs> Delicia Hall, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, cum laude. Amy C. Cones, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, magna cum laude. <laughs> Jennifer Marie Firstenau, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, cum laude. <laughs> Michael Jonathan Cicerelli, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, cum laude. Eden Jenkins, Bachelor of Applied Science, summa cum laude. Adam Joseph Madera, Bachelor of Applied Science. Fatima al Huchemi, Bachelor of Applied Science, cum laude. Gabriel Joseph Kuchera, Bachelor of Fine Arts, magna cum laude. Adam Nortley, Bachelor of Fine Arts. Michaela Beck, Bachelor of Fine Arts. Sarah Thomas, Bachelor of Fine Arts. Alexis Olivia DeChiro, Bachelor of Fine Arts. Rochelle L. Kidd, Bachelor of Applied Science. Soraya Cook, Bachelor of Applied Science. <laughs> Kayla Martin, Bachelor of Applied Science, cum laude. <laughs> Alida Ali, Bachelor of Applied Science. Mohammed al -Kohif, Bachelor of Applied Science, cum laude. <laughs> Ayla
Ali Mohammed Mutana, Bachelor of Applied Science, summa cum laude. Christiane Dodonzon, Bachelor of Applied Science. Nicole Miller, Bachelor of Applied Science. Ali Magrid, Bachelor of Applied Science. Hisham Magrid, Bachelor of Applied Science. Cedric Scott Yatsek, Bachelor of Fine Arts. Carson R. Wolf, Bachelor of Fine Arts, magna cum laude. Hannah Greenwell, Bachelor of Fine Arts, magna cum laude. Sydney Bramlett, Bachelor of Fine Arts, magna cum laude. Thomas B. Lindsay, Jr., Bachelor of Fine Arts. Jaman Benson, Bachelor of Fine Arts. Hmm? Wyatt Griswold, Bachelor of Arts. Brad Kreps, Bachelor of Arts. Brianna Hope Martin, Bachelor of Arts, cum laude. Zoshi Garcia Perez, Bachelor of Arts, cum laude. Abdullah Ali Nasser, Bachelor of Arts. Cedric Grant, Jr., Bachelor of Arts. Olivia Barrington, Bachelor of Applied Science, cum laude. Sonia Wicker, Bachelor of Applied Science. Margaret Alfieri, Bachelor of Applied Science. Heather Kilpatrick, Bachelor of Applied Science. Amanda M. Cislack, Bachelor of Applied Science. Cole Fields, Bachelor of Applied Science. Bradley Joseph Vanderloven, 
Bachelor of Applied Science. Mark A. Reeves, <laughs> Bachelor of Applied Science, Public Safety. <laughs> Terrence T. Lane, Sr., Bachelor of Applied Science, Public Safety. Taisha Bess S. Bailey, Bachelor of Applied Science, Surgical Technology. <laughs> Richard Falls, Bachelor of Applied Science, Healthcare Administration. Mohammed Al Rawashte, Bachelor of Applied Science. Isaac Gregory Oakley, Bachelor of Arts, Cum Laude. Tyler Dant. Bachelor of Arts, summa cum laude. <laughs> Nina Doris Maria Fox Trevino, Bachelor of Arts, cum laude. Grace A. Baylog, Bachelor of Arts, summa cum laude. Kean Andrew Bailey, Bachelor of Arts. <laughs> Skylar Beals, Bachelor of Arts. <laughs> Narpreet Singh, Bachelor of Arts. Bryce Hudick, Bachelor of Arts, Cum Laude. Reva Richardson, Bachelor of Arts, Magna Cum Laude. Marissa Jane Clark, Bachelor of Arts, Summa Cum Laude. Elizabeth Heinz, Bachelor of Social Work, Summa Cum Laude. Shakaya Parker, Bachelor of Applied Science. Samantha Ann C. Leonfils, Bachelor of Applied Science. Halia Algersh, Bachelor of Applied Science. <laughs> Corey Allen Sadler, Bachelor of Applied Science.
William Wilnow III, Bachelor of Applied Science. Brianna N. Mitchell, Bachelor of Applied Science. Carly Ann Gillespie, Bachelor of Applied Science. Jennifer Elizabeth Welling, Bachelor of Applied Science. Michelle Lee Yo, Bachelor of Applied Science, magna cum laude. Laura Ann Suntag, Bachelor of Applied Science. Kayla Millspa, Bachelor of Applied Science, Surgical Technology. Stephanie Jones, Bachelor of Applied Science. Chelsea Goodwin, Bachelor of Arts. Ta Kung, Bachelor of Arts. Patrick John Forsyth, Bachelor of Arts. Shamar Simmons, Bachelor of Arts. Joshua Rockwell, Bachelor of Arts, cum laude. Joseph Rocco Caradana, Bachelor of Arts, cum laude. Jeremy Pastoria, Bachelor of Arts, cum laude. Abigail Hall, Bachelor of Arts, summa cum laude. Anjul Lenoir, Bachelor of Arts, magna cum laude. Adam J. L. Baker, Bachelor of Arts. I'm checking the pronunciation. <laughs> Liam Antonio DiPietro, Bachelor of Arts, cum laude, and Bachelor of Business Administration, cum laude. Madeline Margaret Casey Cook, Bachelor of Arts, summa cum laude. <laughs> Brenna Nuremberg, Bachelor of Science, summa cum laude. Anna Kreitz, Bachelor of Science, Magna Cum Laude, and Bachelor of Arts, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Caleb Allen, Bachelor of Science. <laughs> Paige Bernath, Bachelor of Science, Cum Laude.
Lillian Annabelle Walker, Bachelor of Science, Cum Laude. Erin Elizabeth Tyson, Bachelor of Science, Magna Cum Laude. Caitlin Carver, Bachelor of Science, Magna Cum Laude. Shantara Brianna Holmes, Bachelor of Science, Cum Laude. Presley Stahl, Bachelor of Science. Megan Lily Del Vecchio, Bachelor of Science, Cum Laude. <laughs> Hannah Thomas, Bachelor of Science. Kylie Keck, Bachelor of Applied Science. <laughs> Emma Joy Giddings, Bachelor of Social Work, Magna Cum Laude. Lydia Saeed, Bachelor of Arts. Caitlin Gray, Bachelor of Arts, Magna Cum Laude. Caitlin P. Leckie, Bachelor of Arts, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Stephanie Melendez, Bachelor of Arts, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Madeline Riela, Bachelor of Arts, Magna Cum Laude. Katiani McCormick, Bachelor of Arts. Paula Ann Stott, Bachelor of Arts, Summa Cum Laude. Tiana Fry, Bachelor of Arts. Megan Michael McBee, Bachelor of Arts. Win to Hain, Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Business Administration. Devin James Hill, Bachelor of Arts, Magna Cum Laude. Rebecca L. Ludwig, Bachelor of Social Work. <laughs> Jacob Wojciechowski, Bachelor of Science, Summa Cum Laude. Willem Ristall Weisheimer, Bachelor of Science. Yeah. 
Isabel Marie Reamer, Bachelor of Science, summa cum laude. J. William Moore, Bachelor of Science, summa cum laude. Ushwe Miranda Betia, Bachelor of Science, summa cum laude. Clayton Colborn, Bachelor of Science. If you want to. No, I got it. I'm joking. <laughs> Francesca Marie Badamasi, Bachelor of Science. Noah Harrison Gascon, Bachelor of Science. John Miller, Bachelor of Science. Philip Archer Alva, Bachelor of Science, cum laude. James Joseph McGrath, Bachelor of Science. Ashley Stillman, Bachelor of Arts. Shelby R. Brandt, Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations. Proud of you. Jasmine Ann Jones, Bachelor of Arts. Lindsay Laranek, Bachelor of Arts. William Strickland, Bachelor of Arts, cum laude. Mackenzie Berndt, Bachelor of Arts. Ryan Reed, Bachelor of Arts. <laughs> Delena Julia Morrow, Bachelor of Arts, Magna Cum Laude. Latia M. Jones, Bachelor of Arts. Samantha Noel, Bachelor of Arts. Ashley Kreisa, Bachelor of Arts, Magna Cum Laude. Julia Van Campenol, Bachelor of Arts. <laughs> Bernard Bell, Jr., Bachelor of Science. Kevin Gomez, Bachelor of Science. Zane Konkin, Bachelor of Science, summa cum laude. Samantha Scott, Bachelor of Science, cum laude. Yeah. 
Alexis Cordell, Bachelor of Science, summa cum laude. Emily Monroe, Bachelor of Science, magna cum laude. Zachary Harris, Bachelor of Science. David Long III, Bachelor of Science. Evan Ray Adams, Bachelor of Science. Cabe Sikora, Bachelor of Science, Cum Laude. Joel Koshko, Bachelor of Science, Magna Cum Laude. Marissa Young, Bachelor of Science, Magna Cum Laude. Cameron Gwine, Bachelor of Science. Jalen Fisher, Bachelor of Arts, Cum Laude. Curtis Bell III, Bachelor of Science. Lydia A. Lydia A. Lopez, Bachelor of Science. Justine Nagy, Bachelor of Arts, Summa Cum Laude. Jefferson Edwards III, Bachelor of Arts. Benjamin Wayne Garman, Bachelor of Arts, Cum Laude. Cole Merlin, Bachelor of Arts, Summa Cum Laude. Andy Lyons, Bachelor of Arts, Cum Laude. Yeah, dude. Theodore Werner III, Bachelor of Arts, Summa Cum Laude. Walter Turner, Jr., Bachelor of Arts, summa cum laude. Hold up, Jay. <laughs> Jalen R. Williams, Bachelor of Arts. Michelle Cote, Bachelor of Arts. Michael Christopher Ramp, Jr., Bachelor of Arts, Cum Laude. Benjamin Ellis, Bachelor of Arts.
Amanda Blair, Bachelor of Arts, summa cum laude. Sierra Renee Camacho, Bachelor of Arts, magna cum laude. Jasmine Bushman, Bachelor of Arts, magna cum laude. Amber Sukup, Bachelor of Arts, cum laude. Kennedy Mary, Bachelor of Arts. <laughs> Emily Salinas, Bachelor of Arts. <laughs> Maisha Monterey Peters, Bachelor of Arts. Morgan Ann Leppelmeyer, Bachelor of Arts. Hayden. Peyton Alexa Banks, Bachelor of Arts, cum laude. Andrew Darwin Stoll, Bachelor of Arts, magna cum laude. Alexis Hurst, Bachelor of Arts, summa cum laude, and Bachelor of Business Administration, summa cum laude. Lindsay M. Pena, Bachelor of Arts, summa cum laude. <laughs> Madeline Herrera, Bachelor of Arts. Crystal Tamara Simpson, Bachelor of Arts. Dr. Susan Shelengoski will now present the candidates for degrees to be awarded, and Sister Peg will confer the degrees. Will the candidates for the following degrees please stand? Master of Arts, Master of Business Administration, Master of Science and Nursing, Associate of Arts, Associate of Applied Science, Associate of Science, Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Applied Science, Bachelor of Business Administration, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, and Bachelor of Science in Social Work. <laughs> President Ellen, on behalf of the faculty of Siena Heights University, I present these candidates for the Masters, Associates, and Baccalaureate degrees and recommend that the degrees be conferred on them. But before that happens, be seated. <laughs> I'm going to make you wait a minute. I promise not to talk long. 
Only about an hour or so. <laughs> well, good afternoon to all of you and especially our graduates. Well, graduates, I'm sure there were days when you never thought this day would come. But here you are, you've made it, and I'm so proud of all of you. This day is a celebration, parties, family meals, and gratitude for those who helped you along the way. This also is a touch of bitterness to this day because you leave behind all that you loved about Siena. The friends you've made, your professors and staff, with whom you form great relationships. You leave behind that which has become so familiar to you as you are entering a whole new adventure in your life. I hope that during your time together at Siena that you have remembered a few things I've said over my 17 years. <laughs> These words can become your anchor as you venture out on your lifelong journey. First, live Siena's mission every day of your life. Your commitment to that mission also must be lived by you, our soon-to-be alumni. Once you have been a part of the Siena family, you are always a part of it. Always strive to be competent, purposeful, and ethical in every environment in which you find yourself. And don't forget your religious spiritual roots while you are doing so. And always, always respect the dignity of all. As brothers and sisters, we need to live together with diverse cultures, races, religions, thoughts, and our declarations of who we are as persons, all made in the image and likeness of God. Always strive to do your best. Secondly, know that you are never alone on your journey. God always walks with you whether you recognize it or not. But I must say, given my 71 years of life, that the journey is much more pleasant when you recognize God's presence. You also have family and our friends who will walk with you along the way. Never, never be afraid to reach out when you need someone to help you along the way. Thirdly, know that relationships are the most important thing in life. Cherish the ones you have and engage in new ones along your journey. Some relations will last your whole life. Some are more seasonal. They come and they go. But we are all enriched by relationships and they help us to continue to grow into the pres present persons we are called by God to be. And lastly, remember to live the words of St. Catherine of Siena that she has given to us. And I am sure you've heard that many times over this weekend already, but I can't emphasize it enough. If you are who you should be, you will set the world on fire. And I have every confidence in the world that you will do so. As many of you know, this is my last graduation as president of Siena Heights University. I mentioned earlier that graduation might be a bittersweet time for you. Well, I have to admit, it's a bittersweet time for me as well. We share in that together. When I came here 17 years ago, my motto was, be bold and think higher. I give you that same challenge today. Be bold by sharing your voice about the things that you really feel are important. And think higher. Be creative. Be willing to think out of the box. And make your imprint of goodness known to others. After all, you are saints forever. 
So enjoy this day of celebration. You've certainly earned it. God bless you, and may God always keep you close to his heart. Can you say it again? Thank you. Thank you for preparing the candidates. Please stand. I'll say the first part just one more time. So okay. Can, yeah. All right. So, President Albert, on behalf of the faculty of Siena Heights University, I present these candidates again for the master's, associate, and baccalaureate degrees and recommend <laughs> that their degrees be conferred upon them. Thank you, Dr. Selangowski. Well, now it's going to be final. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees and the Charter of Siena Heights University, I confer upon you the degree you have earned with all its rights and privileges. And welcome to the Alumni Association. Now I would ask the graduates to be seated, just for a moment, and I would ask the faculty and staff to stand along with the stage party, and extend your hands in blessing over our graduates as I read the Dominican blessing. May God creator bless you, may God redeemer heal you, and may God the Holy Spirit enlighten you give you eyes to see, ears to hear, and hands to do the work of God, feet to walk the path of justice, and mouths to preach the word. And may the angel of peace watch over you and lead you at last to God's gift of the kingdom. Amen. Amen. Congratulations and enjoy your celebrations. Gonna say something. You're going to say something about it. Wait, 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 wait. They're all leaving. Please, before you leave, join in the singing Hail Siena, and please remain in your seats until the academic procession has ended. John Kleinow will lead that procession. <laughs> 